YouTube, how you doing? This is Puck. Today I want to talk about unjailbreaking your iPhone on iOS 9.3.3. Pangu released a jailbreak and many people jumped all together into that jailbreak uh, finding out that the jailbreak is installing some Chinese app on their phone uh, at a certain moment uh, CDA is not opening lots of little annoyments 99% of all the comments you know only the guy that showed the jailbreak in fact on the website he was the only one you know that it worked for <laughs> but all the guys that tried it you know were only crying about yo how can we go back because it's not working it's annoying Chinese apps advertisements uh, we don't trust our iPhone anymore so in this video we're gonna on jailbreak your iPhone how to do it okay you will need a Mac or a Windows computer that um, is having iTunes and because you're on 9.3.3 and not on 6.6 .6 or 6.16 or maybe 4. Point whatever this video is really for these guys on 9.3.3 you know got that got their, their 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 phone jailbroken just because they wanted this where is it let me see if i can find it oh this is so annoying eh? you know apple you know they want you to update and if you don't want to update they keep asking you it's it's really they mm, they are you know cyanogen mod shows the way how it should be done you know update comes out there and you can download it if you want and if you don't want it you don't have to take it but wisely you know in fact you should take it but you know people that wanted this little icon you see that the CDA icon just to get apps and to do I don't know why they want to be jailbroken maybe because they can say I'm jailbroken you will need to connect your phone with a USB cable to iTunes to the computer a computer that has the latest version of iTunes that's very important okay and then in fact what you're gonna do we're gonna do it here in front I'm gonna remove this phone out of the casings apologies for the cracks that's how I bought the phone this phone is a video editing phone it's uh, running my iMovie so I'm using it for that and you know some cracks can be really easily uh, uh, fixed by putting you know a foil how you call it uh, how you call this 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 plastic you can get it for 99 cents you know if you have a crack screen just get a little piece of plastic if the screen still works fine and you won't be having to you know go get some new screen wait some months or a year and after that these screens will be really cheap to replace and then one day you might think of it okay but that is not what this video is about this video is about on jailbreaking but then again we're creating a video so we must make a little show we should not only stick to the subject i mean it's my show it's my video so you know this is the way how I present it so you have your phone you're gonna turn it off okay you're just gonna slide it off and how will you know if it's really off well I think you must just look at the screen when it's completely black I think let me see if iTunes still finds the device I don't think so I think this device is off okay I just uh, powered up iTunes and iTunes is not seeing any phone all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the phone into a DFU mode for those not knowing what is a DFU mode, a DFU mode is in fact a restore mode for phones. You know, in Android world, it's called recovery mode. In iOS world, it's called DFU mode. And DFU will put the phone into a kind of sleep, 
deep enough so we can reprogram the brains without it dying on us okay so what we're gonna do here you see the home button and here you see the power button you're gonna put your finger on the power button don't press it yet make sure you 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 feel it good okay so you're gonna turn power on and then hold down the home button and you're gonna keep holding it until the apple disappears and one second later you let go of the power button keep holding the home button did you hear that little bloop? and what did you hear you heard uh, iTunes I must log in you will hear iTunes saying that it has detected an iPhone in recovery mode you must restore this iPhone before it can be used with iTunes so let's take a look at that there we are you can see that iTunes has detected the iPhone in recovery mode and you must restore this iPhone before it can be used with iTunes so this is a very good sign means that you are in a DFU mode okay so the phone is ready to be reflashed now you see a little button here saying restore iPhone so you can hit restore iPhone and then you can hit restore and update okay I'm not gonna do it because I'm on a way lower version of uh, iOS and I don't have any intention to update because if you're out of warranty updating can also mean that you know you get some error 4748 you know you saw the cracks in my screen you know I'm scared really scared to update this device you know not knowing if there's a little crack in my you know so I don't want to take the chance um, so I'm staying on the iOS that it's on it's running all my apps so I'm not gonna update and if you were on a lower version Version, I don't think so then you would not uh, be able to uh, do the Pango jailbreak was only for 9.3.3 so in fact here you can hit restore and update okay and then iTunes will bring you into a menu well we can take a look at that here you will see 9.3.3 and then you must hit next 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 you know I'm gonna hit cancel in this way um, iTunes will get the file for you and it will then at a certain moment when the file is in start fixing your phone you can also hit the little alt uh, button on your Mac and it's the shift on your keyboard if you want to point to a certain uh, to a certain IPSW that you already uh, kind of uh, you know uh, downloaded that you already have on your you know if you download 9.3.3 for your iPhone 6 plus or 5 or um, 4s or any device that can run 9.3.3 then you know you can simply point to it here and then of course the restoring will go way faster because it don't have to download the file first and you know get it all uh, fixed so that is uh, another way to you know point to these files but you can also let uh, iTunes uh, get it automatically for you what you should make sure of is of course that you have enough space available uh, on your hard drive to get that uh, big file because it's still um, a big file um, let me see let's go to uh, my music here and you can see that I have 3.3 gigabytes available you see that so I should not go do adjustment update now on this uh, computer and that I will also of course not do because I get circle of that there you know and the problem is when you're updating your phones of course that's not what this video is about but I already showed in a previous video me talking to Apple long conversation you know and in fact the, the end conclusion was if you have no warranty anymore on your Apple device and you upgrade it and it dies in an upgrade you know you can go get a big one so that is it uh, peeps this is the way how to restore your phone completely back to original and uh, yeah your phone will be fixed of course um, I will uh, get my phone now out of a DFU mode and uh, so we go back to the studio well nothing to it right it was pretty straight up eh? 
so iTunes can go get the file for you or you already downloaded the file and point uh, iTunes straight to it and your phone will be restored okay for those that um, want to know how to get out of the DFU mode uh, we are now in a DFU mode and in fact there's nothing wrong with this phone and this is of course also the fix for if your iPhone felt on the ground or out of nothing got into a black screen or a totally white out screen and you want to you know fix it again this is how to fix it you will hold down the home button and you're gonna press the power and you can do counting but why should you I mean you can also look a little bit around I like that and maybe say hi to your neighbors and then boom when the Apple logo comes in the screen you just let go of these two buttons and then the phone will be restarted and you will go straight up to your desktop for those wondering uh, if this phone is jailbroken no it's not jailbroken the CDI icon that you saw that is um, is a kind of um, uh, a kind of repository that you can add to the phone via the browser and it's also a sort of way to how you can you know get different icons and change the things around but hey <laughs> do I want different icons I'm cool with my icons I just love my icons you know I don't need no other team on this thing if I'm on a 3GS yes then I want to jailbreak because I want to give it the iOS 7 latest look uh, and feels that's all but effect um, yeah I don't need no teams with round icons I don't have to let it look as an Android but some of you guys out there really want to do these things remember everything that you do um, via your browser and all the uh, repositories that you're giving permission when you're saying yes I trust when you hit trust you know you know what it means trust you know what means trust you trust your wife you trust your kids you know but you cannot trust something that you don't know somebody you don't know yes would you trust this developer to you're trusting the developer to get into your uh, system and do all sorts of things to your system that you're not even aware of because the guy is also Chinese and he's not really uh, ex making any any you know um, Oh, you say that manual in English so you're like reading Chinese and you're like and you know so let's cut the crap if we're gonna go for a jailbreak I want it to be a jailbreak with you know a good manual in English we want to know what's happening. We want our guys of Cydia, you know, Saurik and these guys, they must have access into the jailbreak so they can see whatever, you know, the crap is been written there, you know, that they can inspect it and check if it's a good jailbreak. You know, when these guys say it's a good jailbreak, we can go for it, you know, but when somebody that is also creating the smartest computer on earth is saying, yo, um, this is a jailbreak and your, your uh, how you call it, this is, this is how to do it in Chinese. So you must go learn Chinese and then come back and read it, you know, and then in two years from now, when you learned your Chinese, you know, your phone won't even exist anymore. So people, let's cut all this crap and let's keep it real. Your iPhone is the best way, the way it is when it comes, you know, uh, these latest devices, they have all sorts of technologies on board that can help you, serve you, but can also, you know, make your life really miserable.